going on everyone? This is Erica it's for the win, otherwise known as Erica of SheAttack.com. I want to be uploading this video to my channel as well as SheAttack's channel. So I hope you enjoy. This is going to be my first impressions of Dark Souls 3. This is just going to be a quick rundown about how I'm feeling about the game. Just first impressions. This is not a review. Um, I've put about I want to say 20 hours into the game, uh, but that's between three playthroughs. I was trying different classes. I have a, a profile on PC and then I also have a character on, on PS4. So it's kind of mixed between the three playthroughs, uh, all the hours that I have. But overall, I just want to say I'm really enjoying this game. Um, I'm not an experienced Souls player. I've only been playing uh, the Souls series for the past year. Ever since Bloodborne kind of opened the floodgates with uh, the Souls series, I've been heavily invested. I've been very interested in these games, and I went back to actually play Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 1. Um, beat Dark Souls 2, and I'm still working on the first one, but that's pretty much my resume when it comes to the Souls series. So I do have some experience in uh, Dark Souls as a series. I just don't have the complete experience. I still haven't played Demon Souls as well. So I'm working on all of that. I'm still learning as far as, when, you know, the lore and just the games in general, how to get better. I'm still learning, but I've come a long way. And I think you'll notice that in the gameplay. Um, I'm pretty good. You know, I, I, I get it done. <laughs> so let's talk about Dark Souls 3. I fought four bosses so far, so I do want to make some comments on the bosses. Um, that's really probably the only negatives I may have so far. But we'll leave those for the end. Let's go ahead and talk about the story. I'm not going to spoil it. I just wanted to mention briefly that the story is more clear to me. I feel like, um, you know, a lot of it might have to do with me just exploring the lore a lot more than probably the average person, but I do feel like I'm understanding more when it comes to Dark Souls 3. I can follow along, kind of understand my place in this world and what's so significant about my character and what I have to do. Um, when I played Dark Souls 2, I was very much confused. I didn't really know what was going on. I understood I had to kill everything and get through the game, but beyond that, I wasn't really sure. Um, so I do feel that if you come to Dark Souls 3 as a rookie and you've never really experienced the Soul series before, I would bet that you're going to have a better time understanding this game than I did understanding Dark Souls 2. It was just a little fuzzy for that game. Dark Souls 1 was a little more clear for me, especially since I was exploring more with the lore and everything like that. Um, but Dark Souls 3, just on a just basic following dialogue and, and understanding what is going on, I think it's much more clear compared to the other two games. So yeah, take that as you will. If you are interested in the story and you kind of want it there and you want to understand things, I think you're going to be pleased with Dark Souls 3. As far as the graphics, I mean, they look gorgeous on PC. Um, at first, there were some, you know, frame rate issues going on, uh, even on PC. Of course, I don't have the top of the line PC out there, but it's pretty good. So, you know, considering I haven't really had frame rate issues with other games, uh, it was kind of concerning. I was thinking, dang it, it's happening again, because the Dark Souls series is kind of known for that, for having frame rate issues. So I just thought of it as kind of a downer, a kind of a bummer. And, you know, but I was patient about it. I was like, they're going to fix this. It's going to get better. And then sure enough, they did release a, a most recent patch, which was 1.03, which is now technically the day one patch for the U.S. Um, for Japan, the first day one patch was 1.01. .01, and that's where it, would kind of, it was kind of having problems for me um, as far as the game, even on PS4. You know, of course, it, it had problems. Um, I noticed, especially before boss fights, the frames really dipped. I'm not sure why that was, but they are much better now. So all of you guys who are getting this game um, day one for the U.S. release, it's going to be a lot better for you. You're going to have a better experience um, regarding the frame rates. I know frame rates are not the most important thing when it comes to graphics and stuff, but they're not even really related, but I just wanted to mention that um, right off the bat. But let me get back to the graphics. Like I said, the game is gorgeous. Even on the PS4, looks beautiful. I love the graphics in these games. Some people might not like them. I I've heard opinions around the community. You know, some people think that the Dark Souls series is not a good looking game, but I beg to differ. I think it is. I think even in the darkness and even in the ugly side of, um, you know, these areas in this world, things are dead and, and, and things like that, but it's beautiful at the same time. I think it kind of takes a page uh, from Bloodborne in that 
um, way. Dark Souls 3, you know, it can look really grim, it can look really gray, but it's beautiful at the same time. And so I appreciate that. I appreciate just having the world kind of come alive. Um, even if I wasn't there, I, I feel like it would still be lively and still be continuing. And I'm kind of like the intruder that's entering this world. It just gives me that feeling, um, you know, when it comes to just the atmosphere and the tone of the game. That is something that Bloodborne uh, kind of did for me as well. So when it comes to this game, Dark Souls 3, I know a lot of people are saying it's kind of like Dark Souls and Bloodborne had a baby. I think of it that way as well, but the baby has more characteristics from the Dark Souls parent, if you know what I mean. It's kind of, it looks like the Dark Souls parent a lot. But there are certain things on this baby, like the eyes or something that is so bloodborne. There's moments in Dark Souls 3 where I'm like, man, this, this is really like bloodborne. I love it. But then because of the combat and because of, um, the weapon variety, uh, the music, the just story, the NPCs and things like that. It's it's definitely Dark Souls. It's pretty much Dark Souls at its core, you know, but it has a layer of paint from Bloodborne. It has influences from Bloodborne. And if you do love Bloodborne, I think you're going to be very happy with this game. You're going to notice that it is very much different, but it's going to look familiar at the same time, especially in certain areas. I noticed that um, it really reminded me of Bloodborne. Um, but when it comes to the actual, you know, level design and how it kind of intertwines with, with you know, other areas and things like that kind of all comes together. Um, that is definitely Dark Souls. So it, it's it's a good mixture, almost a perfect mixture, I'd say, of uh, the two series. And if you've played Demon Souls, I'm sure you might find some inspirations from that game as well. I've heard many people say that as far as the hub, um, you know, the Firelink Shrine. I've heard people say it reminds them of the Nexus, which is in Demon Souls. So there's going to be little things like that or that are kind of taken from the other games, but just kind of polished and made better, especially graphically, it looks better. And mechanically, I'm sure you're going to see all those influences just kind of come together and just make this wonderful baby. <laughs> so um, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, what else can I say about it? The soundtrack is awesome, especially during the boss fights. I'm, I'm really loving the soundtrack. Um, oh, speaking of boss fights, let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, there's, like I said, I've, I've seen four bosses. Two of them were awesome, you know, especially I think the first one is a good introduction, especially if you haven't really played uh, any Souls games. It's right away, kind of lets you know what you're in for and gives you a challenge right up front. Um, second boss, I really enjoyed as well. Um, the only problem with, with my first playthrough with the first boss or second boss was that the frames were dipping so bad, but I got through it. I made it work, and like I said, the frames are getting much better, um, but besides that, the boss was awesome. I loved the design and, and just everything about it. Third boss was optional. Um, I liked it. It was okay. It, it was kind of cool, especially the, the second phase, and just the design of the boss was, was interesting and creative. Fourth boss was mandatory, and I am going to have a video about this boss um, pretty soon, but I didn't really like this boss too much. So it's kind of a mixed bag when it comes to the bosses. I feel like it has its good and high points, um, but overall, I'm feeling like they have been pretty easy, and that could just be because I'm more experienced with this series or whatever, but um, I'm curious to see how newcomers, you know, kind of view these bosses if they see them as hard. And if they do, then I'll probably fall back a little bit and think, okay, there's some challenge here. But for me personally, they weren't too hard. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing the other bosses and seeing if they get much more difficult. I'm hoping for that. I'm sure it's going to happen. Um, but for right now, based on just these four bosses, like I said, it's a mixed bag. I'm having mixed feelings. Some of them are good, some not so good. So... I know there's some reviews out there that kind of scored this game like a 7 or an 8, and the reason they did that was because of the bosses. They didn't really like some of them because they were too easy. So yeah, I understand it. I'm kind of seeing it. I know what they're coming from now, but I'll hold my judgment for the, the rest of the game. You know, I'll, I'll see how it goes from here on out, but for right now, it's just kind of, eh, you know, I mean, they're not too hard. 
And the reason that's kind of a negative is because it's Dark Souls. I feel like I should be getting my butt kicked constantly, and that hasn't really happened for the bosses yet. There's regular enemies in this game that are way harder than some of the bosses, so it's just been kind of an interesting experience. Um, I'm loving the areas. I'm loving the design of the areas. Like I said, some of the enemies are really hard, so that's where the challenge comes in for me. Um, there's so many items in this game. There's so many weapons and shields and just things that I'm coming across, and I feel like I'm leveling up my weapons and everything because I'm just finding all of the stuff I need. And it's just been a really rewarding experience as far as just finding goodies. So if you like finding all kinds of cool stuff and cool armor and really awesome weapons, I mean, you're really going to enjoy this game. I really do recommend it. Even if you haven't played the Soul series before, I really do believe this is a good introduction. Like I said, with the story, it's clearer than the other games. Um, and with the boss, the first one being so upfront and right away within, if you wanted to, within five minutes of the first part of the game, you're going to really know, okay, this is what I'm in for. Am I down for this? Do I like this? I think you'll get that feeling right away. So if you want to just rent the game, do it and, and you'll get a good uh, gist of how it is just, you know, within the first half hour. Or so you're going to know what you're in for. And that's what I love about this game and appreciate about it is that it can make for a really good introduction to the series. And uh, I'm sure that's something that some of you are probably, you know, thinking about and wondering. So yes, I do really recommend giving this game a shot, even if you haven't played any of them before. Um, but if you're the experienced Souls player or the experienced Bloodborne player, I do really think you're going to love this game, no matter which one you prefer. It has flavors from everything, but at its core, it's still Dark Souls, and that's going to make a lot of people happy. So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's my first impressions of Dark Souls 3. I hope you liked it. I hope it was informative. If you're on the fence about buying this game, I hope this video kind of helps with your decision. I have a strong feeling that I'm going to be talking about this game at the end of the year, if you know what I mean. Game of the Year talks, of course, this is going to be in consideration. Um, it's just that good. I'm really, really liking it. And yeah, so thanks again for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace.